Hey everybody, I Dance Thunderclouds here, and today we're going to talk about how to upgrade your RAM in a mid-2011 27-inch iMac. Ensure you shut down your Mac properly, then disconnect your Mac from electricity before starting this upgrade or any other work. Random Access Memory Upgrading your RAM will help prevent slowdowns when multitasking multiple tabs open on your internet, or programs running at the same time. Upgrades are great for people who do photo and video editing, such as myself. I bought some Corsair Vengeance DDR3 16GB worth. That's two 8GB sticks at 1600MHz. Part number, or model number, is going to be PC3 Papa Charlie 3. 12800. Now I spent $102.74 after shipping, and I, of course, added the 999 two year protection plan. What exactly that covers, I'm not 100% sure, but I made sure that I got it because I didn't want to get caught short. Um, for your Mac, you're going to make sure that you have a 204 pin, which this is, a 10 by 10 by 10 by 27 latency. What does that mean? I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'm a little ignorant when it comes to that, but I made sure I put it on there because there's I know there are people out there that are going to be watching this video that do know what that means. And that might be a good thing, might be a bad thing. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, also, this works with the Intel Core i5s and i7. And I'm going to put a link in the description of where I bought these specific ones. Uh, I do plan on buying another set just like this, removing my 4 gigabyte worth, the two, two sticks of 2 gigabytes that I have in there, and replacing it with two more 8 gigabytes, giving me a total of 32 gigabytes of RAM. Why? Because I do a lot of video editing and picture editing, and I don't want to have that be the issue with my slowdown. And it's about the only thing that I can do with my 27-inch iMac when upgrading, uh, other than popping the top off and replacing the optical drive with a SSD, which I might do later on down the road. Next, you want to make sure that you ensure to lay your screen down face down on a soft, non-abrasive surface. Uh, I put it on a towel to prevent the screen damage, because you don't want that. As well, uh, just from this picture, the RAM cover is right below the screen, right flush with the bottom of it. Uh, this, the, the stand won't actually lift up any higher. You want to ensure that you clamp your anti-static wristband to a metal piece on your computer uh, so that you can prevent damaging your computer parts, especially if you have super airy arms like me. I conduct a lot of static electricity, especially during the winter, just walking around in my socks on the carpet, you know. Also, be careful not to strip out these screws. These screws are standard Phillips head screws, which some people may know as a cross dip. Once the RAM cover is removed, place it off to the side so that it's not in your way. Uh, I'm not quite sure if these screws will come out, but I'd rather not try. Make sure you dust out with a can of air. Don't do what I didn't do, because I failed to dust it out, but I did wipe it off. Also, you want to make sure that you pull firmly on each tab separately with two fingers. Don't jerk it. Just pull firmly and the stick will actually pop out. If you're just adding, you don't have to worry about pulling. Just flip that little tab down and then insert your new RAM into the, the bottom slot like I did because I didn't have to take it out. Next, you want to ensure that when inserting the RAM, you have the smaller end on the right, this little side over here, and the bigger end on the left if your Mac is facing down like mine is. If not, it would be the opposite way. While inserting the RAM into the empty slots, press firmly with both thumbs on each side, pushing until you hear a click or until it's properly seated. Mine did not make a click, uh, but I did feel it give and then stop. Uh, also, it may feel as if you might cut your thumbs. Uh, there was no slice marks or anything like that, but just pushing as hard as that needs to be. Make sure it's even in there so you're not jamming it sideways. And then after the RAM is installed properly, tuck those RAM remover tabs back up into the slots, and then screw the RAM cover back on. Then once the RAM slot cover is screwed back on properly, reconnect your Mac to the electricity, and then boot up your system. 
And then, once your Mac is properly booted up, that's kind of like a first indicator that things are going right, that you, you did put stuff back together properly, for the most part. And then, uh, once this is booted up, you want to click on the small black apple in the top left corner of your screen. That's where you're going to find all your settings and such. Then, click about this Mac. That's where you're going to find the better settings at, the settings that we're going to be wanting to, to see. By clicking the Overview tab, you can see if your RAM upgrade has been recognized. And then you can also see how much RAM you have, how much it's actually showing. Whereas I had only two sticks of 2 gigabyte, so 4 gigabyte total of DDR3 RAM. Now I have 20 gigabyte DDR3 RAM. And then last but not least, if you want to, you can click on the Memory tab and you can see which slot each RAM card is in. See, I have the top two are 2 gigabyte each, and then the bottom two are the new 8 gigabyte each that I bought just recently. And that about wraps it up. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash thunderclouds and leave us a like on this video if you liked it. If not, you can thumbs down. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Make sure you comment and like my Facebook page. And like always, please hit the subscribe button. Safe travels.